Hello everybody and today we are going to see the sys library. The sys library is related to the system and it has a lot of attributes and functions related to the system. So first, sys is a built-in library. You don't need to download it from external resources. And to import it, you just need to type import and sys. Let's see our first attributes. For the first one, we have platform. So to use this, you just need to type sys.platform. What is platform? Platform is a string containing a platform identifier. So, for example, if you are using Windows as a system, the platform will give you a string containing Win32. If you are using Linux, it will return Linux uh, a string Linux. To print it, just print this, and you will get Linux and Win32 as output. For the second attribute, we have here copyright. So to use it, just type that sys.copyright. And here, because it's an attribute, don't put two parentheses. Be careful to that. And copyright is a string containing the copyright of the Python interpreter. For the third one, we have version. We can use it the same way as our previous attributes and it is a string containing the version number of the Python interpreter and additional information on the build number and compiler we are using. Let's try those three. Okay, let's first import the sys library, then let's print sys platform and let's see what we get okay as you can see win32 and that's because I'm using Windows for this our second attribute we have copy right you can see all the copyrights here to this interpreter which is by Sharm by the way and here's the third one is with which is version it will give us the Python version I am using in this interpreter and some other compiler information you can see here and now we have two functions we will see the first one is std out dot write and this std out refers to standard out and it takes a string as a parameter so what that do is giving an output as a statement so it works exactly like the print function for our second function we have here stderr dot write and this is called the same way and it has also a string as a parameter and this is a standard error it is used to output an error the difference between this and this one is that the message output here is in red let's see that okay let's now sys.std out right and here you put your message for example and to make it clear let's put a line between both and here it's an error message and instead of out you just replace it with ERR we have also another functions instead of write we have read but the most important functions are write so let's run those and as you can see 
this one works like the print statement and the other one give us an output with a red color but you can see now the difference we have the error message displayed before the regular one why is that okay you should be careful because this is an error message so it is it might be executed for the other one for this function we have get size off to call this function we just need to sys dot get size off and as a parameter it takes variable any variable type so what that do is getting the size of that variable in bytes let's try this out okay for this example we have here four variables the first one is integer the second is float third is a string and the fourth is a list let's try now to print sys dot get size off and here we put our object we'll start with a b and c and finally d and we'll see the result let's compare those the first one is 14 bytes second which is float is 16 this string takes 36 bytes and the last one which is a list takes 48 and now for our final attribute we have argv sys.argv that's how we call it and it's a list of command line argument passed to a python script so when you want to execute a python script in the command line you can store all the argument pass it to that script when executed you can store all of those in a list which is argv we will see that and make it more clear by doing the code okay and now let's see first how it does look when we want to print the system.argv first let's go to the terminal or you can go to the cmd as you like and write this is uh, the script name okay because we are in the path we don't need to pass here our path and press enter here is our result which is a list as we saw and it contains just one element which is our script itself because our script is the first argument passed when we are executing this file in the command line so for example if we want to launch this with some more arguments like here and be careful to separate each one from the other with a space we have now three arguments and press enter as you can see the first one is our script second is this first and those are our arguments and now let's see uh, a little bit of a useful uh, use for the argv okay we can now take from the user first the name the age and if he was if the user was a female or a male then we want to print hello uh, and put this name and you are for example 19 years old you are a male or you are a female let's try this program now first let's make a sys argv stored in L so L is the list of those argument passed let's now print hello and now we want to pass the name as we can see the first one which is L0 
is our script we start with L1 to give the name so L and here's one then U R then we want the age which will be the here the third argument which we can index push it which we can index it by two and then here's all you uh, are here's the gender the gender is the last one which is three and let's check this out instead of putting on the three hello the first name by noob for example the second argument is 19 and any age and the third one is the gender and let's <coughs> try to execute the code hello by noob you are 19 years old and you are a male as you can see this is a little bit of a useful usage of this system.argv you can make any program you like to make that was it for today's video i hope you did understand all what i explained well you can take this recap as a screenshot keep it in your device and if you like the video don't forget to like it to subscribe to the channel comment down below anything you want to do and take care and goodbye.